I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Ah, hi friends! Oh, I'm so, so happy to see you! Today, Rubble is going to make a wish, and we're going to see if his wish comes true. In Pet Patrol's Rubble's Big Wish. Rocky and Rubble were helping Farmer Al sort through some old stuff in his barn. Rubble dug into a pile of toys. Hey, Jack in the Box, he said. I'm going to clean it up and play with it. He yawned. <sighs> right after I take a little nap. Rubble curled up next to the toy, and soon he was asleep. And he began to dream. The Jack in the Box started to jump around. Rubble turned turned the box's handle, and music began to play. And then a genie popped out of the box. Rubble and Rocky Brocky gasped. Pleased to meet you, said the genie. I'm Jeremy the genie. Since you let me out of that box, you get three wishes. What would you like? Hmm. Rubble said, thinking, what do I really want? I know, I know, a bone that'll last forever. And Jeremy led Rubble and Rocky outside, where there was plenty of room. Grant this wish to a pup so clever, one big bone that'll last forever. <laughs> And the genie chanted, and the genie used his magic to make a giant bone appear in the sky. Wow, my wish bone, Rubble said, and that bone hovered in the air for a moment. But then it fell down onto the barn. Crash! It was stuck in a big hole in the roof. I just graduated from genie school, Jeremy admitted. So I knew at this. Farmer Al ran out of his barn and stared at the great giant bone. Don't worry, Farmer Al, Rubble said. We'll get Ryder. Rubble and Rocky ran to the lookout. They told Ryder about the genie and the bone that broke the roof of Farmer Al's barn. We'll take care of it, Ryder promised. No witch is too big. No pup is too small. <laughs> Ryder called the other members of Paw Patrol and came up with a plan, and they all hurried back to the barn. Rubble, Ryder said, use your crane to lift the bone off the roof. Rubble on the double, he said. Rubble lowered the claw to grab the giant bone, and then he raised it out of the hole in the roof. Good job, Rubble, Ryder shouted. Okay, Sky, Ryder called. You can fly Rocky and his supplies up there now. You got it, Ryder, Sky answered, and she flew her helicopter to the roof, carrying Rocky on a platform. Rocky had some old cupboard doors and shingles with him to repair the hole. Green means go, Rocky howled. Hammer, Rocky said, and his backpack opened a hammer and a hammer popped out, and he started hammering the old cupboard doors over the hole in the roof. Wow, Jeremy said, I can help with that. And using his genie magic, Jeremy floated the shingles into place. Rocky nailed them down in record time. The roof was fixed. Good as new, Farmer Al said. Thank you, Paw Patrol. And Rubble set the giant bone on the ground. He and the other pups ran over to it. Rubble gave it a lick. <sniffs> Yummy! He said, it's so big, it'll last forever. I'm happy to share it with you, my friends. And then Jeremy told Rubber, Rubble he still had two more wishes left. As Rubble thought, he wandered around, not watching where he was going. Sploosh, splish, splash. And he slipped and fell into a mud puddle. Yuck, Rubble said. Now I know what I want. I wish for the super bubbliest bubble bath ever. This pup likes it in the tubbly. Make it warm and super bubbly, Jeremy chanted.
And Rubble's bubble bath was so bubbly, one giant bubble formed around the tub and lifted it right into the air. I think I'm in bubble trouble, Rubble whimpered. But as he floated along in his bathtub, Rubble started to enjoy himself. <laughs> this is fun, he laughed. Rubble saw a row of pine trees up ahead. Pine trees, he said. Oh no, one thing about pines is that they sure are prickly and pop. The prickly pines popped Rubble's big bubble and he fell through the tree and landed on a limb hanging over a river. Oh no. Rubble called Ryder over for help. We're on our way, Ryder said. Ryder put on a harness and Sky lowered him from her helicopter to the pine tree. A little lower, Sky, Ryder called. Hang on tight, Rubble. Crack! And just as the tree branch broke and the bathtub began to fall, Ryder scooped up Rubble. Gotcha, he said. Thanks, Ryder, said Rubble, giving him a big lick. What's your last wish, Rubble? Jeremy asked. I wish I could do something nice for all my friends, Rubble answered. Good pups deserve a lot of good eats. Reward these pups with tons of treats, the genie chanted. Kaboom! There was a loud clap of thunder, and then it started to rain puppy treats. Yay! The pups all cheered. <laughs> In the barn, Ryder gently shook Rubble awake. Time to go home. Farmer Al said you were a big help. I'll say, said Farmer Al. You good pups deserve some good treats. And he tossed treats to Rubble and Rocky. But Rubble said, no thanks, I ate a bunch from the sky. And Ryder looks confused. Are, are you all right, Rubble? Barnes give me the weirdest dreams, Rubble said, giggling. <laughs> the end. <gasps> Was there really a genie? Oh, or was Rubble sleeping? And did Rubble dream about the genie? Hmm, maybe. But maybe he also saw a genie that gave him tons of all of his friends treats, gave him the bubbliest bath he ever ever had, and a bone that'll last forever. Hmm. Friends, if you saw a genie and you could wish for anything in the world, what would you wish for? What would it be? <gasps> that sounds like a great wish. <laughs> well, I hope that wish comes true for you. Well, friends, that's all the time we have for right now, but you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, do you want to come over here and say bye-bye? Okay, my little friend over here wants to say bye-bye, too. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. -bye. <laughs>